now we have to find out uh, uh, power supplied and absorbed in example 1.7 uh, in a given circuit figure 1.15 we know that power supplied is positive and power absorbed uh, sorry power supply is negative and power absorbed is taken as positive if we supply um, a power it means that uh, a source uh, let's suppose a current source or a voltage source for a voltage source current always come out of the positive terminal whereas in passive element either it is resistance inductance or capacitance current always enter the positive uh, terminal of that uh, passive element now come to word uh, find out the power p1 p1 is the power um, across uh, uh, 20 volt source now it is source and uh, it is supplying power and it is active element so current is coming out out of it then minus sign for power supply value of current is 5 uh, value of voltage is 20 minus 5 into 20 is equal to minus 100 watt now p2 p2 is a passive element current is entering to the positive terminal and power absorbed is equal to positive 5 into 12 is equal to plus 60 watt now come toward the p3 here in p3 power is absorbed because it is passive element and power is absorbing mm. power is equal to plus v into i and current is uh, also entering the positive terminal so 6 into 8 is equal to 48 plus 48 now come toward the P4 P4 is basically a current controlled current source point to I where a value of I is 5 ampere it depends upon the current 5 ampere uh, now P4 is an active element and it is uh, as a dependent uh, source and uh, and every source supplies power so minus vi uh, where i value of i is, is 0.2 i multiply by its voltage uh, p4 is parallel to p3 so both have same voltage uh, which is 8 volt now we have substitute the value of i and the answer is minus 8 watt now if we add all these the answer should be sum of power is equal to 0 or if we equalize power supply is equal to power absorbed then the answer is also same